Houston, we don't have a problem. Today, we want to talk about normal forces on a ramp. So, if I have a ramp that looks like this, and I have a box, remember, a normal force is a contact force perpendicular to the surface of the contact. And let's say that this is a 30 degree angle. So, what is happening? Gravity is always acting on objects. So there's going to be a force downward called the force of gravity. But if you think about it, the normal force is perpendicular to the plane, which is like the plane is right here. So the normal force is this force, and it's going to be upwards, by the way. Upwards, it's going to be this number. Got it? So this has, and probably since it's on the table, as a side note, there's also going to be a force of friction pushing this back, otherwise it's going to slide down the ramp. So there's something that's holding it, and you put a blo blo block of wood on a ramp, it isn't necessarily going to slide down. If you get it steep enough, it probably will. We'll get to that later. So how can you figure out what the normal force is? Because we know what this is. So let's say that I know that this has a mass of, what they say? I did a sample. Let's say that is a two kilogram object. So the force of gravity equals m times g, which is two, times 9.8, but I'm going to cheat a little bit and just call it 10. So let's say that's 20 newtons. It's not quite, it's like 19 and change, but it's just for the sake of argument, right? It's 20 newtons. What would be the normal force? So it's not the same because there's this angle here. So what you have to do, and we've done this before when we did inclined planes, you make this a triangle, right, where the hypotenuse is the weight, and if this is 30, these are what we call like triangles, that makes this angle here also 30 degrees. And so the normal force, I didn't draw it super straight, is going to this right force right here, here, I'll just highlight. This force, the, or the magnitude of this force, will be equal to the normal force. And so if you look at this, this is the hypotenuse is 220 right here, right? This hypotenuse is 20, you've got a 30 degree angle, so you're going to say that it's um, 20, 20 newtons, times the sine of 30 degrees in this example, which equals what? So the normal force in this problem would be 10 newtons. So that's how you would solve this problem, how you would get the normal force. Remember, this only applies if you have a contact force. It does not apply if you have... Um, like the balloon we talked about in the previous video. Houston, we don't have a problem. We'll see you in class.